Welcome to a world where your digital footprint becomes the blueprint for criminals. In Future Crimes, by Mark Goodman, we unravel a chilling reality where our most trusted devices become tools for criminals. From hacking your car's software to stealing your identity with a smartphone, this book reveals how emerging technologies could unleash a new era of crime. Keep watching as we uncover the most shocking predictions and learn how we can protect ourselves in this fast-evolving digital battlefield. Get ready and gear up for a ride into the dark side of technology that you won't believe is possible. Let's explore the key concepts in the book. First coined in the 1960s by Gordon Moore, Moore's law originally observed that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles about every two years. But what happens when this concept extends to other cutting-edge technologies? Let's find out. As we speak, artificial intelligence, robotics, biotechnology, and nanotechnology are advancing at a breakneck pace, echoing the exponential trend of Moore's law. But with great power comes great responsibility. Mark Goodman, a leading thinker in tech, suggests that these advancements offer both incredible opportunities and significant risks. Imagine a world where your car, your home security system, and even your medical devices are all connected. That's the reality we're heading towards with the Internet of Things. But as our systems grow more complex and interconnected, they also become more vulnerable to attacks. The scale of impact from these technologies is staggering. A single cyber attack, once a nuisance to a few, can now cripple entire nations, compromise millions of personal data records, or crash stock markets. Despite these advancements in technology, there's a significant lag in security and ethical guidelines. Innovators are rushing to market, often overlooking the need for robust security measures. And as fast as technology moves, regulations move at a snail's pace, leaving us exposed to new forms of threats. As technology continues to evolve, the need for vigilance has never been greater. It's not just about enjoying the fruits of technological progress but also safeguarding against the potential perils. The Internet of Things refers to the vast network of devices connected to the Internet, beyond traditional devices like computers and smartphones. This includes everything from refrigerators and washing machines to thermostats and security cameras. As these devices become smarter, they also become part of a complex web of technology that is increasingly integrated into our daily lives. It's estimated that by 2025, there will be over 75 billion IoT devices worldwide. That's almost 10 devices for every person on the planet. But what does this massive connectivity mean for security? Let's find out. With great connectivity comes great responsibility and great risk. Each IoT device represents a potential entry point for malicious activities. Hackers can exploit weak security measures in these devices to steal personal information, disrupt services, or even gain control over home systems. You might remember incidents where baby monitors were hacked, allowing strangers to speak to children, or smart fridges that were used to send out thousands of spam emails. These aren't just hypothetical scenarios, they're real risks that impact real people. So, what can we do about it? First, it's crucial to secure your home network. Use strong, unique passwords for your Wi-Fi and devices, and update them regularly. Manufacturers also need to prioritize security from the ground up, designing devices with built-in protections. Looking ahead, regulations will play a key role. As the IoT grows, so too must our strategies for managing and securing these devices. The future of IoT is bright, but only if we're aware of the risks and proactive about managing them. From artificial intelligence and robotics to biotechnology and quantum computing, emerging technologies are rapidly evolving. They promise to transform every aspect of our lives, from healthcare to transportation. Imagine AI systems so advanced, they can impersonate human voices or create video evidence that's completely fabricated, known as deepfakes. These technologies can be used to spread misinformation, manipulate elections, or even incite violence. In robotics, autonomous drones could be repurposed to carry out attacks or conduct unwarranted surveillance. And as AI continues to advance, the risk of decision-making biases and ethical violations increases. Moving to biotechnology, the power to edit genes and manipulate biological processes is groundbreaking. But it also raises significant ethical questions. Who gets to decide which traits are desirable? 
what if these technologies fall into the wrong hands? And let's not overlook quantum computing. While it could revolutionize fields like cryptography, it might also render current encryption methods obsolete, exposing vast amounts of sensitive data. These scenarios aren't just science fiction. They're real possibilities that we must prepare for. So, what can be done? First, we need robust ethical guidelines and regulations that keep pace with technological advances. Stakeholders from all fields must come together to ensure technologies are developed responsibly. Education plays a crucial role. By staying informed, we can better understand the implications of new technologies and advocate for practices that safeguard our society. Our challenge is to harness the benefits of emerging technologies while mitigating their risks. It's a fine balance, but one we must achieve to ensure a secure and equitable future. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more insights, and share this video. In the digital world, data is often called the new oil. It powers the biggest companies and drives decisions in everything from marketing to healthcare. But just as oil can cause spills, data leaks can have disastrous consequences. Our personal data, from social security numbers to shopping habits, holds immense value. And where there's value, there are people willing to exploit it. When we think of data breaches, we often think of stolen identities or emptied bank accounts. But it's much bigger than that. Imagine having your location, your biometric data, and even your private conversations used without your consent. These breaches aren't just about theft, they're about control. Data can be used to influence your decisions, from the ads you see to the political propaganda that shapes your views. On a larger scale, data is a tool for social manipulation. Detailed profiles can be built to target specific groups with tailored messages, effectively weaponizing information to sway public opinion. The implications are profound, from rigged democratic processes to intensified social divisions. Surveillance technologies promise increased security but often come at the cost of our privacy. Governments and corporations can track, record, and analyze our every move, often without our knowledge or consent. This power can protect us but can also be misused to suppress dissent and monitor personal activities. So, what can we do? First, be cautious about what data you share online. Adjust your privacy settings on social media and consider using privacy-focused tools like VPNs and encrypted messaging services. Support laws that protect consumer data and hold companies accountable for breaches. Demand transparency about how your data is used and who it's shared with. In our connected world, data is a powerful tool, it can change lives for better or worse. Let's ensure it's not used as a weapon against us. Cybercrime is booming, thanks to the vast expansion of digital users and data. It's no longer just about lone hackers, it's about organized syndicates operating like companies, complete with customer service and R&D departments. These criminal enterprises are profiting from stealing data, selling malware, and even offering hacking as a service. Your personal information is a commodity on these markets. From credit card details to social security numbers, everything has a price. Once your data is compromised, it can be sold and resold, leading to identity theft and financial fraud. Another lucrative area is malware, particularly ransomware. These tools are not just created but also rented out, allowing even non-tech-savvy criminals to launch sophisticated cyber attacks. Victims range from individual users to major corporations, with ransoms paid in cryptocurrency to maintain anonymity. And if you think that's bad, there's also hacking as a service. Here, you can hire a hacker to attack competitors, spy on people, or sabotage online systems. This service democratizes access to cybercrime, making it easy and accessible, which poses a huge threat to digital security worldwide. The consequences are global. These criminal activities threaten the stability of the internet, undermine trust in online systems, and inflict significant economic and personal damages. It's a challenge for law enforcement and cybersecurity experts who are constantly racing to keep up with these evolving threats. Fighting this requires cooperation across borders and sectors. It involves stronger cybersecurity measures, better laws, and international collaboration. For individuals, it means being vigilant, updating software regularly, 
and being skeptical of unsolicited communications. Awareness is the first step in protection. By understanding the scale and sophistication of the cybercrime economy, we can better defend against it. First, it's crucial to understand the threats. From malware and phishing to sophisticated cyber attacks, the digital dangers are numerous and varied. Each of these threats can compromise your personal information, financial security, and even your physical safety. Like washing your hands to prevent illness, cyber hygiene can protect you from many common cyber threats. This includes using strong, unique passwords for different accounts, enabling two-factor authentication, and regularly updating your software. Securing your home and office networks is also vital. Use a strong Wi-Fi password and consider using a VPN, especially when connecting to public Wi-Fi networks. A VPN encrypts your internet connection, keeping your online activities private and secure from prying eyes. Education is your best defense. Stay informed about the latest cyber threats and learn how to recognize signs of phishing and scams. Also, share this knowledge with friends, family, and colleagues. The more people are aware, the harder it is for cyber criminals to succeed. Regularly back up your data. Whether it's photos, documents, or important emails, ensure that you have copies stored securely, either offline or in a trusted cloud service. This way, if your data is ever compromised or held ransom, you won't be completely at a loss. Lastly, advocate for policies that protect consumer data and promote cybersecurity. Support initiatives that aim to regulate and secure technology development. By pushing for better regulations, we ensure that companies and governments prioritize cybersecurity and protect our digital rights. Each of us has a role to play in securing our digital future. By implementing these preventative measures, we can significantly reduce our risk of becoming cybercrime victims. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it to help others stay safe online. Together, we can build a more secure digital world.